you gonna start the video off? I always start it. I'm gonna start the video off, guys, because my wife always started. <laughs> now, come on now. Okay. You didn't even have to do that, boy. <laughs> Like you said, you said start it, cause I always start it. I don't know where you turned into Lil Kim for some oh, reason. No, I did not. <laughs> I did not start it. But anyway, guys, welcome back to our channel. My wife is making me do the introduction this time because apparently I don't speak enough. <laughs> so, with that being said, welcome back to our channel. We appreciate you guys for um, continuing to tune in for us. So, with that being said, we're gonna ask you guys to. Please, please, please do not hesitate to leave a comment down below. <laughs> she don't know what to say this time. No, she don't I, know, know what to say. I know what to say. I'm just laughing at you. Keep on talking about so Do not hesitate. Do not hesitate. Whatever you just said. Don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. No, not that you were saying. With that being said, with that being said, I think that's what you what you kept repeating. It don't matter. Good vibes on me. Good vibes to my homies. Good vibes. Oh, good vibes. Right. What's up, Watch Family? It's your girl Mariah. This is your boy Ant. And we are the Watch Family. Oh, I was supposed to do that one. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> That's why I was like. I don't know what kind of intro you doing. That's funny enough. Oh, uh, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe. <laughs> Turn on your post notifications. And leave us a comment down below. <laughs> Welcome back if you are new here to our channel. Uh, we are excited to have you. And if you aren't Very new, excited. thanks for coming back. Uh, we are on the road to 2,000 subscribers. So please help us achieve that goal. Bring some people to the channel. Share, 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 share. Bring friends. Share. That's how fellowship is. Share in. the video. Fellowship and brother and sisterhood. I miss Shane. I don't want to switch. So, okay, y'all. Today in this video, the topic is what's the rush? rush? What's the 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 rush? What is the rush? I mean, what's the rush? I really thought you were gonna say I thought you were gonna say something. What is the rush? What do you think is the rush? And when I say what's the rush? You mean we you, you mean in terms of what? What's the rush in trying to hear it to get married? Like a lot of people are planning weddings, you know, within a couple of months. You got some people who might date for like a month or two and then they ready to get married? I so, mean, yeah, I what's mean, the rush? Okay, I what's, what's the rush? Like, why do you feel like everybody is just like in such a rush to get married? Like, what's your, what's your opinion on on it? What do, what do you think? I don't know. I so I, I'm not gonna say I don't know. So I'll just speak from. I have to speak my truth when it comes to this. I always felt like. I, had, I was on a time crunch. I felt like my life was supposed to happen in a specific order, you know, because society tells you that, you know, when you're in your 20s, that's when you're supposed to have a little fun, but you're also supposed to get married in your 20s. You're supposed to meet your soulmate. You're supposed to have kids in your 20s. Like, they want you to do all of that, and by 30, they, you're supposed to be married, settle down, have kids, mm -hmm. you know, driving a whole bunch of cars. I mean, well, I don't know about that part. I, I, I think that falls into it. People driving feel like I'm, I'm I mean, supposed to, well, I ain't gonna say driving a whole bunch, but people feel like I'm supposed to have a car, a house, kids, husband, wife, etc. I'm supposed to have all of that by 30. And if they don't have it by 30, now everybody's like, okay, now I gotta speed up mm -hmm. because I'm 30 now. Mm -hmm. And I honestly feel like it's just society that's, just, that's telling us that we, we have to be in a rush when it, if you honestly just sit back and you, just let the experiences that you're going through, you know, mm -hmm. um, dictate how your life is gonna come out. You know what I mean? I just feel like that's what that's why people rush because of society, man. Like, I think from a win, like from a, you're so <laughs> I think we're playing. I think from like a woman's perspective, not all women, because I wasn't one of these women, but a lot of women in general create a biological clock. So you got some women who are like, okay, by 23, I need to be engaged. 
by 26 I need to be married you know by 28 I need to be having my own kid you know and then I need to be settled down if y'all if y'all disagree of course give us some feedback in the comments but as a woman I feel like that's where some of us that's how some of us think like we have to have it done by this way for me I didn't have that thought process because it didn't really matter for me it just so happened I was engaged at 23, you know, married at 24. Now we don't have kids yet, but we we weren't in a rush to get married. Right. We dated what from 20 2009 to 2016, and we literally just built everything off of our foundation, love, fun. We weren't just in a rush to get married. We we actually I can truly say we honestly enjoy our dating process and our relationship before we got engaged like we wasn't in a rush even with the wedding we got married with the what, oh, within a year and a couple months we could have waited you know but we just wasn't in a rush i feel like a lot of women just have this biological clock and some girls they just dream and fantasize you know oh i want this wedding oh i want this kind of husband oh i want this type of lifestyle you know be before it comes and it, it kind of goes back to the last video of being prepared like you gotta be with you have to individually be prepared before you think somebody else gonna marry you so so let me ask you so let me just say this and again y'all comment you know if y'all disagree with anything we say during this video just want to keep on reiterating it i think women put a lot of pressure on women on other women Yep, I do. I think that as well as we say biological time clock. And I elaborate, I explain that by saying, men, we not we not telling y'all that we need y'all to be have this done. We need y'all to have a degree by this age. We need y'all to, you know, have y'all stuff together by this age. We need y'all to um, be ready for, to get married by this age. We need y'all to have our kids by a certain age. We need y'all to look a certain way. We need y'all, we don't, we don't require y'all to do anything. We are really just simple. You know well, what I mean? Some men, yes. Most men, I ain't gonna speak yeah, for all men, but most men, men, we really just simple. We don't take a whole lot to please us. And I feel like a lot of women, y'all put a lot of pressure on y'all still by thinking or looking at other women and like saying, hey, she got this and she's starting to do this. Or you might have friends, mm -hmm. you know, around you. You may be in a circle of friends that may be taking off and you may not be, you may not be your season yet. Not saying mm -hmm. that you're not, it just may not be your season. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, looking at that, that can be a lot of pressure seeing everybody around you and your circle taking off with you. And it's, and it's, yeah, you happy for them, but it's like, man, when is gonna be my turn? And so now that's when I feel like the clock starts to tick for a lot of people. Like, dang, they got this. Dang, they got it. this. Dang, my friend, she didn't got this. And it's like, man, I'm still. And then when you go home every night and it's just you, I mean, I feel like I just feel like them feelings probably start to get to you. And I was, I mean, they say the devil's playground is an idle mind. You know what I mean? So you sitting there at home all day, and that's all you. Pretty much seeing, then you, not to mention you looking at social media, everybody pictures, mm -hmm. families, married, calls, traveling, all the stuff you know that you would like to be doing, but it's not happening for you just yet. So I can see that. I can see what, like women pressure and women, but I think I think two different things. So one, we have this biological clock. Then two, statistics show or say you know once a woman hits thirty, it could be harder for her to conceive. So that's right. another reason. I feel like a lot of women are just like, man, I have to, you know, start trying to have kids uh, before 30. Not saying you can't have them in your 30s, but you're prone to more issues is what they say. So I feel like that's another reason as a woman's biological clock, because y'all don't have the type of issues. Y'all can produce sperm past 60 years old. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I mean, so, yeah. so it's like women, I think women are, that's just a general way of how women might think is into like man i have to have this i have to do this i have to do that yeah. and then the pressure from just social media your family like man when you gonna get married or you know man have you found a boyfriend man have you found a nice guy like i think it's a it's pressure from just all around you got friends you got social media you got family so a lot of people are probably just pressuring you to to get get your life moving when right. really to me it's not a rush but life is short, it is. you know. So it's it's kind of a what well, a what you call it a um, catch twenty two, kind of, kind of. 
I'm sitting here thinking, like, trying to see, like, with men, I just feel like we put ourselves on the time clock because of women. I mean, I can see I why. I think so, because, I mean, society, too, I mean, women don't want no man that ain't got his own crib. Most women, I ain't gonna say that. Mm. They don't want no man that still stay in his mama's crib. They want mm. a man that got a car. Mm. He might not necessarily have to have the best job, but he's like, he most, most likely he need a job. Mm. So, <laughs> if he ain't got them, it's kind of hard to pull a female in to bring in on top of your mama wanting to know when you're going to bring somebody home to her, you know what I mean? Because she want to be a grandma. So, I don't, I don't, I don't really want to put all the blame on me. I'm not going to do that because that's unfair. But I think a lot of it comes from men like wanting to, you know, be with the opposite sex. I'm going to have sex with men wanting to be with the opposite person. And it makes it hard to do all of that while still trying to figure yourself out if you ain't that person who moved out and you ain't got your car, and you don't have don't have a job at the moment, and you don't really know where your life is going mm -hmm. at the time, man, it can put a lot of pressure on you when it comes to, you know, trying to date. Okay, I can <laughs> see that, that angle too. Um, so maybe, so number one, you gotta be individually prepared in order to have someone be prepared to wanna marry you. So that's number one. You need to get yourself together. So that way you are appeasing to somebody else to say, man, I want to be with her. You know, she, she's, she attracts me or it's an attraction. But you have to look like an attraction. You have to, yo, I guess your mindset and the way you carry yourself have, has to be like an attraction to somebody in order for that to happen. And then two, I think women do, and I'm just speaking for some women, have this um say unrealistic but kind of unrealistic sometimes idea of what a person should be and where they should be and where they should be mm -hmm. and so if they can't find that person sometimes they just either settle down or they keep waiting until they find that person or they settle yeah, I said, or they, or they settle, they settle oh, down, like, they settle down, like, they settle like, down, like, settle. Person. I thought you settled, okay. Yeah, like, they settle, okay. and, um, I forgot where I was going with that, but, yeah, they, they settle instead of, you know, just, just waiting and waiting it out, but we do have these unrealistic, you know, things of, like, a man has to have this, a man has to have that. A man has to, you know, have all this type of money or whatever. And, it, and to me, I just feel like a lot of a lot of people aren't gonna find just A through Z, you know. And so then after you find that person that you probably that probably took a while to find, yeah. now you're rushing, you know. I would my advice with anybody if, if I was to try to plead my case on why not to rush in a perfect world would be because I would love for everyone who's single to truly, truly figure out like your emotions and your purpose and why you exist and who you are as a person before you get into any relationship. Mm -hmm. Like you truly, truly need to understand like who you are as a person. Yeah, I think so. Um, and I mean that by when you get angry, why are you angry? Why are you angry? What made you angry? When are the times when you get the most angry? What gives you anxiety? Like what issues, like is it hard for you to talk about? Like what stuff, why is it, why is it hard for you to talk about new issues? Um, just different things that in life that we, we face, like adversity, when you, even when you happy, what makes you happy? Like why are you that happy? Is it something in your childhood that made you this happy? Is it something in your childhood that I'm bringing with me that I didn't realize pissed me off in the past and now I'm bringing into my relationship? So you, I think everybody shouldn't rush for the simple fact of just truly understanding like who you are as a person. Cause I honestly didn't know, you know, a lot of stuff that made me mad and a lot of stuff that made me happy. I didn't, I didn't truly understand why. And I didn't, and I think the more and more I found out why that stuff made me tick and why I was so, why I liked it and why I hated it is because I got more in touch with myself. And I start figuring out what I don't like and who I don't like, who I need to be around, what I don't need to be around. Mm -hmm. And essentially, it started helping me in your relationship. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I finally got to know myself. Mm -hmm. 
And I feel like if, if everyone does that, it makes the relationship a lot easier. I just say that. Mm -hmm. it, it, that's, that's, that's one thing you ain't got to worry about is yourself. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> um, and honestly, sometimes I feel like we rushed. Even though like we dated mm -hmm. for like, it almost like eternity from 2009 to 2016. Then we, we were engaged for a year, right? Oh, then we got married. Like a catch 22, bro. Really? It really does like, because it's really? like we didn't rush, but then it kind of felt like we did. But it's like we dated for so many years. Then we were engaged for like a year. You know, then we got married. Um, like a couple months after, you know, the it engagement did, anniversary. I really, I really feel like we was rushing our relationship. I feel, I feel like we was too, like we but was then. I feel like we was forced. I feel at a point, I felt like we were forcing it. Like we, mm -hmm. was, we both were just like, no, this supposed to happen. This gotta happen. Yeah, I feel like that too. And we weren't focusing on ourselves in that time. No, nah, we so wasn't. Saying, we were focusing on, okay, what's she doing? What he's supposed to be doing? Okay, let me make sure he's doing it. Okay, but well, every time she get mad, I'm you know, I'm going chop, they put that on, on chop. We was just looking at each other. We weren't looking, looking at ourselves. Yeah. yeah, I think so too. Um, that's why I say it's in between. Like, I don't feel like we rushed. But it's but like it's the rushing like, helped us somehow. Like, the rushing, yeah. that's why I say it's. it's it's like we did I, rush, I, I, we but did, I would really, I still would recommend nobody not to rush. Yeah. To get to know yourself, however, in our case, rushing somewhat, it was some bullshit going through it. God, that was God. That's what it, it was. God, <laughs> yeah, it was God had his hand on all over our relationship, but it just, it just seemed like it was just so much bull crap we had to deal with. But it's like it was bull crap that helped us. Yeah. So that's why I say it's so confusing because it's like, man, it was. Like it sucked. Like I didn't want to do it. She didn't want to do it. Like it felt like we were being dragged through it feel almost at times. But it's like, you know, it was just like it was worth it. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's why I say it's like we rushed, but we didn't. Because we, but the main constant was God. Uh, I don't yeah, definitely. Leave that out. It was I the mean, fact we, that God kept all His hands over all of that because yeah, it was it was a, it was a bit mess at one We pl we I think. Versus looking at everybody else, like in today's time, you really can't compare it to the longevity, I guess, of how long we dated and we were together. So it's almost like we didn't rush. But if you look at like today's time, you know, people are like getting engaged. Yeah, like in months or maybe like they I mean, date, like, they might date for like a year and then they get engaged and then the wedding is like in, you know, a couple months, like four to, you know, six, seven months. And so I don't, I don't feel like personally there's anything wrong with that and I'm not knocking anybody who chooses to do that, you know, who's God, dated for God, two I years. Have a happy moving your relationship. That yeah, way. yeah, because that's none of my business. Yeah. You know, whatever, whatever God has for you is for you and if, if he's, Head of y'all life and relationship, then that's, that's on y'all. I'm not just I'm not judging anybody who has moved fast or who decides to move fast or you know whose marriage or relationship planning is moving fast. Um, I just think that it's important to take that time individually and learn yourself as an individual and learn your your partner or your spouse. Mm -hmm. So that way prior to, you know, discuss all the stuff we discussed in the last video. So that way when you move forward, it doesn't necessarily feel like you're rushing, yeah. you know? Yeah. But I feel like, to me, it doesn't matter when it happens. It doesn't matter how long it happens. It doesn't matter the time frame that it happens. I think as long as it happens, you know, people are still buying houses in their forties, you know, their thirties, forties. Still in their fifties trying to figure it out. Yeah, like, people still in their fifties trying know, to figure like, it out. I put lens aside of pressure, you know? Now I don't know about kids, you know, because I'm sure kids are a lot harder to have, you know, maybe forties and up. But I know it's people that still able to conceive in that time frame. But you know, it's still it's it's still a celebration if you married in your forties for the first time, bought a house in your thirties for the first time, like. You know, society just makes you feel as if you have got to have all of this done. Yeah, by a certain <laughs> timeline or by a certain time frame, or you have to be married by a certain time. And it's just there's no rush. Like yeah, it's no rush. Time, take your time. Like out what you need to figure out about yourself. Yes, yes. Like, seriously, because it's it's 
10 times harder on your relationship to try to figure your yourself out as well as figure your spouse out. Mm -hmm. If you already got you figured out, man, so you can you spend all your time trying to figure your spouse out. And I feel, I feel like, personally, that part... We did it backwards. We did it backwards, yeah. yeah we definitely did it backwards. <laughs> we now, now, it's all happy to work out for us, but it definitely went backwards because we didn't... We, 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 knew, we, knew, we knew each other. But yeah, we didn't know like the deep. Yeah, deep issues, we didn't know the deep right? within we under the skin yeah. issues. Yeah, and then we was dealing with individually. Yeah. It just so happened to work out that way. But yeah, I, I just think you should take your time. Don't rush. Um, get to learn yourself, your individual self, your spouse, your partner, whomever it is, and take y'all time. Like there is not a rush. Do not let society. Um, or your family, your friends pressure you. Like your time is your time, your moment is your moment, your season is it's your, your season. season. And we ain't talking about and, and I think that once you understand your season is your season, you'll understand, not gonna say you understand, you'll be at peace with knowing that whatever is supposed to come to you will come to you, you know? You'll also be at peace because you understand you, so there's no reason for you to mm -hmm. care about what anybody, anything, anybody think. You know your heart. God knows your heart. Yep. Like even when stuff comes off wrong, mm -hmm. it don't even matter because you know you. Yep. You know and that's <laughs> yeah, and that's why I say like I. Y'all just focus on yourself. Like, yeah, focus yeah. on yourself. I am. I'm. I'm just happy for anybody around me. Um. When it's time for them to be celebrated. You know, regardless of what it is, if it's house, if it's kid, if it's engagement, if job, it's marriage, if it's job, anything, if it's mental this. health, you know, if it's, you know, I don't know, I picked up a new hobby, I picked up a new activity, mm -hmm. whatever I it is. Drinking, I yeah, I stopped drinking, I stopped smoking, whatever it is. Um, celebrate your friends around you and um, help them, help them to understand or uh, I ain't gonna say teach. Help, help each other. Let's all just help each other understand that social media is just social media. It's not realistic. It's not realistic. And you know, when you have people in your friend group that um, may start to sink into that, help your help your friends out. Help your friends out, because I know I have been one of them. I have definitely sunk into social media and said, you know, I'm supposed to have, you know, this kind of, I ain't gonna say relationship, but you know, I'm supposed to have kids by now. I'm supposed to have bought a house by now. You know, I'm supposed to have, shoot, a whole bunch of money in my bank account. You know, I'm supposed to be a certain way and uh, social media would definitely depress you if you keep looking into that and feeling like you have to rush, yep. you know? But once you step back and and if you're spiritual like we are, let God lead your life and your relationship, those things will come to you if you are patient and you ask God for what you want. Yeah. You know, you pray and ask God for what you want and he will definitely bless you with that. Now, it might not be what you want it. But you also, go ahead, I'm gonna let you spend time with me here today. Go ahead, what you gonna say? I was just gonna kind of piggyback on what you were saying, but saying that just because you asked for it don't mean you ain't got to do no work oh yeah <laughs> you got to prepare for it yeah you do you know like, you got you got you got to keep up your end of the bargain too mm -hmm. it ain't no it ain't just no okay and uh, you share receive can you please give me this and it's just like all right you just sit back and watch yeah. him do what he gonna do yeah yeah that's it, true it ain't gonna be you gotta put that, the work like, in. you gotta put yeah. some real work in on yourself you gotta you want to work on yourself you gotta want stuff to get better you gotta actually show good that God, I'll meet you halfway on this, man. Like, yeah, I come all the way. Well, all the way, so, right. Yeah. Like, all the way, yeah. So, you gotta be willing, yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. So, what's the rush? What do y'all think is the rush? I feel like we was, we was kind of all over the place, but I mean, I think we... I think we was all over the place in the right amount of time. Yeah. And God has spoke what he needed us. I think so, too. Around, around the circle, we kept kind of dipping into different areas and different, you know, conversation. Well, you look like, ain't that one that little kid doing the jar? Are you? That's not like that. Hip-hop, 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 hip-h
family, why are you rushing? pressure, you know, why you're rushing, why do you feel like you have to rush, what is the rush? What's the rush, y'all? So until then, I know we was all over the place. We thank y'all for watching. You're sharing the nap. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like the video. Turn on your post notifications. Turn on your post notifications, ring that bell, and we'll see y'all in the next video. And work on yourselves, you heathens. Okay, that's it. You didn't even have to do that. Watch fam signing out. Why you why you didn't even Oh damn. You didn't even tell him back. Like you we, just, we just told him about. We said I was, we said we out. Well now y'all see that he got on red shorts. So and that's the difference then in the video. So, so watch fam signing out. Peace. See y'all in the next video. Did you fart? Did you fart? No. I think first.